Hi guys, I'm Chris from Excite Audio. What I want to unbox today would be the Audison SR4.300 mini amplifier and the Audison APK165 component system. Let's start with the amplifier. So why I want to start with the amplifier is because it gets me excited. This SR4.300 will only be available via Excite Audio. In the Malaysian market, only we have access to such a nice cute amplifier that is so small but so powerful. A Burmester system rates at 590 watts in a Mercedes-Benz. This amplifier, 4 channel only, 520 watt. You see how powerful is this? Now I'm gonna unbox and I'm gonna show you how small is this amplifier. And of course the feature, how it looks like and you know, why is it a very very value buy. This is the Audison SR4.300 amplifier. You look at the size, it's so small. But when you look at the spec sheet, the power that is gonna come out from this small little amplifier here that can fit in my palm, this specification over here rates at 85 watts RMS at 4 ohms, available on all 4 channels. Uh, but if you need more power and you have a 2 ohm speaker or a 2 ohm sub, this would give you 130 watts of RMS power. So the RMS is like the nominal power, the spec that you should actually look at. You see why am I so excited? Because right, during back in the days when I started play, uh, playing car sound system, if you want to get an 85 watt RMS amplifier, you know how big is the amplifier? The amplifier is this big. You know why? Because I have a living proof for this amplifier. It's actually the previous version of the Audison SR4. I can show you right now, it's just behind me. I'm gonna take it. You see this amplifier? This is a class AB amplifier. And when you look at the label, it says Audison SR4. So this amplifier, was I think about 10 years old or less than that, right? And it's this big size. But what Audison did was to reduce the size, increase the efficiency to big T size. And this am amplifier is more powerful than this one. Why can the amp become so small? First, we need to understand what is class AB amplifier and what is class D amplifier. Actually, if you want me to talk about AB versus class D amplifier, I can talk until the morning. Also cannot talk finish. But I'm gonna sum summarize it for you. A class D amplifier is basically the design of the amplifier. So class D has usually uh, been used to play subwoofers. They are mono blocks. Some people say that the sound from the class AB amplifier sounds better than class D. But to be honest, when we put it, put it to, to, to our ears, we actually can't tell much of the difference. So this is called technology. It, it evolves, it improves. So when we talk about efficiency, is that Class D has much higher efficiency. In layman terms, it's just simple. 100% of power comes into the amplifier. The Class D amplifier with ADT technology will output 85% of the power. So if it's 100 watts come in, it will give out 85 watts. But during back in the days when we talk about Class A, B amplifier, I also wouldn't go down to Class A because those are very horrible, very big amplifier, very hot. So compare Class A, B and Class D. Class A, B, power come in 100, go out only 65. Class D, come in power 100, go out maybe 85. But Audison is also another very good technology driven, innovative company. That's why they created this Class D amplifier and add in their own technology called the ADT. It's called the Audison Class D technology. I will tell you this will exceed your expectation because this company is an Italian company just like Ferrari. You like Ferrari, I also like Ferrari. I like Audison, you also should like Audison. You see all this line over here? This is actually made to dissipate heat. Last time amplifier got fan inside, got sound woo 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 and then come out, the, come out the, the clarity not so nice because got too much component inside. Inside here, also there's a lot of different things that we can actually talk about. Your high pass filter, low pass filter, everything is inbuilt here. The crossover is highly tunable. You can cut off at most frequency. I think there's also an X10 where if you want to go on an active mode, for your Twitter, also no problem. And if you want to play subwoofer, you want to bridge the channel, this one can give 250 watt RMS mono at one channel for 
your subwoofer. So looking at this one, what kind of connections we can actually insert into this amplifier. You have the speaker output over here, so this one can output to your speaker, give your speaker power. This part here is basically, it says pre-out, input A, input B. So these are the RCA input and the output. If you want to power it on a mono channel, you just need to follow the instruction. You bridge the channel and then you can get much more power for your subwoofer. But if your car has no RCA output, like most of the cars or uh, stock cars do, right? don't worry because this one comes with high level input. So basically, from your car, your original car stereo, you can put in two wire, three wire, four wire into this amplifier and give it the signal to process and push out so much more power to your speaker. So if your car sound, you don't have boom, 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 or very, very nice, powerful vocal, most of the time, you are missing a very good amplifier. Amplifier can increase the sound, increase the voice, increase the soul, increase your want and your desire, and also can make your bulu naik. So that's why why I say this is a very, very exciting product because you can fit it underneath your seat or behind your boot and your wife cannot tell, you, tell, tell that you spend so much money on this because it's so small, she cannot see. So you are safe. But when you go into the car, she say, hey, how come the sound sounds so good? Suddenly what you did to your car, very easy, turn the volume down. She cannot hear already. When she get out from the car, then that's where you perform. You turn up the volume then you will enjoy good sound quality. Don't have this one, speaker more like uh, singer, no sound. With this one, singer really, really can have powerful voice like Mariah Carey.